kids miss kulkarni here in this video let's talk about the nuclear symbol of an atom and let's figure out how we came up with the answers so here's an example of nuclear symbol for an oxide ion there are different parts for nuclear symbol one of them is we need to have a chemical symbol from periodic table corresponding to that element so oxide has the element oxygen to begin with and that's why we need to add a symbol which is o and that's what we have here then there are two different numbers 16 and 8 how did we get these numbers 16 is the atomic mass number and 8 is the atomic number and then we need to have the ionic charge which we always put on the right hand side top corner and over here if you have more number of atoms we put that 2 or 3 so we write oxygen o2 in this format now remember these two equations mass number is equal to number of neutrons plus number of protons and atomic number gives you directly number of protons using this information you can easily find out the nuclear symbol and we also need some help from periodic table because periodic table gives you the symbols for the atoms and it also tells you the atomic number in this problem number of protons electrons and neutrons are given and we have to figure out rest of the information so let's write down protons is equal to 5 electrons is 5 here and number of neutrons is equal to 6 the number of protons is equal to atomic number so we got that answer as 5 how do we get charge charge is protons minus electron so when you subtract 5 minus 5 what is the charge charge is equal to 0 and how do you get mass number mass number is equal to p plus n so p plus n is 5 plus 6 which is equal to 11 and now we have to find out what is the symbol for that chemical let's look at the periodic table which gives you the atomic number 5 and it's right over here boron has atomic number 5 so our nuclear symbol in order to find out the nuclear symbol we need to locate where the atomic number 5 is coming so let's do that and we can easily figure out that's atomic number 5 listed in the top corner here and the element symbol is boron so boron is the element now the charge is zero so we don't usually write the charge zero but if it was negative or positive charge we will put that charge on the right hand side top corner here the other two things to remember is writing the atomic mass number and the atomic number and that goes 11 and 5 so that is the nuclear symbol for the first one let's look at the second element electrons are 6 here neutrons are 8 and this is the mass number which is p plus n we don't have exact number of protons but we have number of neutrons so p plus 8 is equal to the atomic mass number which is 14 using this equation we can solve and find out the value for p which will be 14 minus 8 and thus we get protons equal to 6 once you get number of protons we can write down the atomic number because they both are equal so we have 6 as the atomic number how about the charge it's proton minus electron and in this case again it's 6 minus 6 so 0 is the charge and how do you find the element we go back to the periodic table and find out where is atomic number 6 and that's right over here atomic number 6 and the element is carbon so carbon again has zero charge so we won't usually put zero on the right hand side top corner but we do list the atomic mass number 
and also the atomic number. The atomic mass number is 14 and the atomic number is 6 here. So that is the nuclear symbol for carbon. Now let's do some more practice with the remaining ones. Now let's complete the table. In this example, electrons are 18, the atomic mass number is 32 and the charge is negative 2. Immediately you can realize with negative charge this is an anion and the charge is obtained by P minus E and also that means electrons are more. How many more electrons we need to have? There should be two more electrons. So if electrons are two more than protons, how many protons we got? That will be 18 minus 2 and it will be 16. Once we get 16 as the number of protons, atomic number is also 16. How do we get number of neutrons? P plus N is the atomic mass number. And remember, P is equal to 16. So we can easily find out the number of neutrons by subtraction. It is mass number minus the atomic number. And which is in this case 32 minus 16 which will be still 16. How do we get the symbol for the element? We are going to go back to the periodic table and find out where is atomic number 16. And right here we have sulfur with atomic number 16. So the symbol for the element is S. The charge is negative 2. So we put that on the right hand side top corner minus 2. And over here we write the atomic mass number and atomic number that is 32 as mass number and 16 as the atomic number. Let's do the next one. We have electrons 10, number of neutrons is 14 and we know the charge is positive 3. That means it is a cation. So if P minus E gives you charge, you know that number of protons is more than electrons here. And it is more by how many? 3. So we have 3 more protons than electrons. So if electrons are 10, protons will be 10 plus 3, which will be 13. As soon as you find out number of protons, you can find out the atomic number, which will be again here, 13. And then the atomic mass number is P plus N. So we are going to add number 14 and number 13. So this is going to give you the answer 27. So how do we guess the element now? We are going to locate where in the periodic table is atomic number 13. And what is that element? The element is aluminum. And the charge is positive 3. And then we write down both the mass number and the atomic number. Mass number is 27. And then the atomic number is 13. In the next problem, number of neutrons is known, atomic number is known and there is a charge given. If we know the atomic number, we can go back and write down number of protons which is exactly same 24. Now the charge is positive 2, that means it is a cation and we get charge with the formula P minus E. That means number of protons is more. And how many more protons we have? Since the charge is positive 2, we have 2 more protons than electrons. That means how many electrons we are going to get? That will be 22. And using the formula P plus N, we can find out atomic mass number. And that will be 24 plus 28 which is equal to 52. Now how do we find out the element? We have 24 as the atomic number. So let's find out where in the periodic table is that number 24. And we can easily spot right here. We have number 24 and the element is Cr chromium. So let's put the symbol for the element chromium. We have charge positive 2. So that goes in the right hand side top corner and then over here we need to get atomic mass and atomic number. Atomic mass is 52 and atomic number is 24. 
Let's do one last problem. In this problem, electrons are given to us as 18. This is the mass number and this is the charge. Since the charge is negative, what we have is an anion. It's a negative ion. And P minus E gives you charge. The charge is negative. That means we have more electrons and less protons. Electrons are more and that means we have three less proton so this will be 18 minus 3 or number of protons will be 50 when you get 15 protons we can find out the atomic number that's also 15 how do we get number of neutrons remember p plus n is the atomic mass number 31 proton is 15 and p plus n is 31 so neutrons will be 31 minus 15, which is equal to 16. Now let's find out our unknown element. And we are going to make use of that 15. So let's go to the periodic table and find out where is number 15. And it's right over here, number 15. That is phosphorus. So we can go back and write the element symbol phosphorus. The charge is negative 3 that goes in the right hand side top corner and the remaining two things are atomic mass number and atomic number. The atomic mass number is 31 and the atomic number is 15. So these are simple methods of writing the nuclear symbols for atoms or ions. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you again in next video. Until then, bye-bye.